Today we're taking a look at upgrading my Asus Strix G15 laptop with some KingBank memory. KingBank sent over two 16GB DDR4 3200MB transfer SO DIMMs for my laptop. Thanks to KingBank for sending these over for us to take a look at. If you still have a DDR4 laptop or a desktop that uses SO DIMMs, you can still get a pretty decent upgrade with brand new memory. KingBank sells a couple of different configurations for DDR4 SO DIMMs. You can actually get these in 8 or 16 gig capacities, either at 2066 speed or 3200 mega transfers per second. 3200 MT is probably ideal for upgrades on most of these PCs though. As for my ASUS Strix, it originally came with 8GB of system memory. The first owner had tossed in a second 8GB DDR4-2400 DIMM in order to upgrade the laptop to 16GB total. Unfortunately, since that second DIMM was slower than the first one, it downclocked the first stick down to 2400 That's essentially what happens when you mix and match memory speeds like that in a computer. This was kind of a common thing to do when these laptops came out because you could save a couple of bucks. But now that DDR4 laptops have been on the market for a while, the memory prices have really come down a lot. So you might find that you can breathe some life into an older machine by upgrading your system memory even if you don't have the latest and greatest equipment. In my setup, I'll be swapping both of the SO DIMMs out for the 16GB DDR4-3200 DIMMs. That'll give me a total of 32GB of system memory, which is a pretty solid upgrade for a 10750H CPU from Intel, paired with an RTX 2070. There's definitely a couple of games out there that really push me close, or honestly probably could use more memory than the 16GB limit that I currently have, and I definitely know that my exports in DaVinci Resolve are being slowed down because I just don't have enough system memory to handle it. 16 gigabytes of system memory was definitely pretty acceptable a couple years ago, but I would say that nowadays you probably need 32 most of the time, if you're really using your PC or laptop a lot. It's also worth mentioning that 16 gigabytes of system memory, while very usable, definitely is going to limit your total maximum of applications that you can have open at any one time. Applications are a lot better at balancing memory usage now, but generally speaking, the more you have, the better off you are. As for the specific KingBank SO DIMMs that I have here today, they're pre-programmed to run at 1.2 volts for the rated speed, either 2666 or 3200 mega transfers per second. And that really is ideal, because in my research I did see some SO DIMMs that only run their rated speeds at higher voltages, 1.25 to 1.35. And that kind of voltage isn't actually that common for laptops or desktops that use SO DIMM memory. So it's very nice that KingBank paid attention to that and have these set at 1.2 volts. I wanted to check the memory out in CPU-Z. I see that the 3200 mega transfer timings listed are 22, 22, 22, and 52, as well as 74 for TRC. That's pretty reasonable for reasonably specced 3200 megahertz RAM on a laptop. On my system, the max memory speed is roughly 2900 mega transfers per second because that's a technical limitation of the 10750H CPU. The memory was automatically detected, I didn't have to do anything, and it was basically already set when I booted up to about 2924 mega transfers per second, with the main timings being 22, 21, 21, and 47, the CR being set to 2T. In my opinion, that's pretty good for not having a laptop that can actually change those manually. That means between the motherboard and the settings that are baked into the memory, that was essentially what they negotiated on and the system's running at. That's really not too bad in my opinion, and it definitely did boost the CPU performance just a little bit. I got a couple extra percent in the 3 d Mark TimeSpy CPU benchmark, which is kind of nice for just upgrading the memory. And in my DaVinci Resolve testing, that extra memory was super helpful for exporting videos. During my testing, there's various videos where I easily get over 18, 19, sometimes even 20 or 22 gigabytes worth of system memory. Exporting my old RX 7600 benchmark video, 
I definitely noticed it going quite a bit faster because it was able to make use of those extra couple of gigabytes of memory. While there are some faster SODIMM DDR4 memory kits out there that you can purchase, they're definitely going to cost quite a bit more. In my opinion, if you have a lower capacity of memory for your laptop, or you just have a slower speed, something like 2400 or 2666, I definitely think it's worth it to take a look at KingBank for upgrading that at least to 32 gigabytes if supported, and trying to get as close as you can to 3200 mega transfers per second, so long as your CPU and laptop motherboard support that. As for the warranty on these SODIMs, KingBank offers a limited lifetime warranty, which is quite nice. If you're interested in learning more about the KingBank DDR4 memory, or you want to pick up a kit for your laptop or desktop that uses SODIM memory, I'll leave a link to them on AliExpress in the description below. So definitely head down there and check that out. If you got any value out of this video, I'd appreciate it if you could smash that like button, as that'll tell YouTube to share this with other people who are researching DDR4 laptop memory. If you're into gaming PC and component testing videos like this one, consider getting subscribed to the channel and ringing that bell for notifications. Until next time, keep on gaming.